Uh, hi guys, in this video we are going to see how to calculate the minimum output capacitor required for the uh, DC-DC converter. I am going to show for the buck converter. It is applicable for all other uh, buck or buck boost or boost uh, converters. Okay. So as you are seeing here, this is a buck converter uh, schematic and you can see that this is the output capacitor and we are going to see what is the minimum value of the capacitor we have to choose for the uh, converter okay and uh, i'm not going to explain how the buck converter works and we have separate video for that okay so here uh, we can we know that when the switch turns on the inductor current ramps up this is a, uh, i'm showing the inductor current waveform here okay the instantaneous inductor current waveform will be ramps up and ramps down ups and down right and so that's what when I, when we you turn down the switch the current will uh, go from valley point to top uh, top point right so this depends upon the ripple current it will go from uh, ripple current range that means it will be from point 0.2 to point 0.4 usually right from here to here it will go and come down okay and that average current average inductor current will be the center point of this one right because it's it's it, uh, you can see it's uh, we can see it here right so it will be in center point of this one and the load current will be equal to the uh, average load current is equal to the average inductor current right so you can see that all the current whatever comes out of this inductor it will go here and some portion will come here and goes out that means that is the charging current to the capacitor uh, during this portion when it ramps up some portion will go and accumulate in the capacitor and when the output draws some more current it will first they take it out from here and they use it right so what i'm trying to say here is the during steady state condition the current goes in charging current as well as discharging current will be one and same that means this triangle and this triangle will be same that's what the steady state condition will can happen right so now our objective is how what is the minimum value of the capacitor required for this here right and we know the formula uh, q is equal to c into v for any capacitor value right? that means a uh, change in uh, charge that means uh, we can say here one more formula we can see is um, cur uh, current formula for the capacitor ic is equal to c into dv by dt it's one and same here right so it's a change in qc we can say change in uh, charge is uh, is equal to can i once again change in charge is equal to c into change in voltage right so this is a this is the equation you have to remember it for to find the capacitor's value okay q is equal to c into v okay rearrange this equation c is equal to okay okay so we have to find this value what is a, a change in charge as well as change in voltage first this change in voltage is nothing but the ripple voltage output ripple voltage okay so this is nothing but the there will be a song about v out ripple right we can get it from this spec uh, the dc dc connector spec they might have given what is the uh, uh, minimum output ripple they are expecting it say if it is a 5 volt output means it's a 5.5 4.5 to 5.5 that range it will be the right okay and dq values to find the dq value we are saying that for uh, consider the charging phase this is the value right this is charging phase either this one or this one we can see it this is a triangle you can see it right so dq what we can see is of bh is the area for the triangle of bh okay the b is the uh, b is the base from here to here it will be t by 2 because from here to here it's a t and half of this will be t by 2 and this part will be t by 4 as well as 3 t by 4 it will be there right so from here to here it will be there 3 by 2 t by 2 so 1 by 2 into t by 2 and h H from here to here, you can say that from valley point to peak point, it is the ripple current del I, right? Del I. Usually, that's what previously I mentioned that. Usually, for any design, we used to take 0.2 to 0.4. Usually, they'll take 0.3, usually, right? 
for this calculation purpose height is nothing but from here to here this height is nothing but the del i by 2 right so that's all guys we got this value dq value as well as dv value replacing this equation we can get it okay 1 by 2 del i by 2 this v out right 1 by v out ripple okay now here i can uh, summarize this one 1 by 8 the t from uh, we can't find out t from a spec right so t is nothing but the 1 by f switching frequency right 1 by f switching frequency so this value we can replace it here That means uh, V out ripple. Okay, this is the equation. This is the equation for the minimum C. The C is nothing but the minimum output capacitors capacitance required for the output side, which is nothing but one by eight into one by switching frequency, and uh, uh, del I. This is the ripple current. Okay, ripple current. We can say it's usually. How much the ripple current value will be is usually 0.2 to 0.4 it will be the right and v out value we can v out and uh, switching frequency we can get it from the spec right so we can get the values for the capacitors that's all guys uh, take care bye